Hi YouTube, today we're going to be making uh, this rotating menu in jQuery and CSS. And uh, basically what it does is it's, it rotates around with all your links and you can place as many links as you want in it. And uh, when you mouse over, it slows down so the user can select which link they want to click. And they hover over them and there's a nice animation welcoming the user to click on it. And uh, yeah, it's a really unique looking menu. It's quite a cool asset for your site. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to our TextMate file. We're going to get started. We're going to start off with the HTML scaffold. I'm going to name it jQuery Academy dash uh, rotating menu. And uh, we're going to bring in jQuery and the script tag. And then we're going to make a new script tag. So, script. And uh, we can give it some space. And then we're going to make a style tag. Give that one some space too. And then down in the body tag, we're going to add our first menu item. And we're going to give it it's going to be a div, and then we're going to give it the class menu item. And inside it, we're going to put a link. We're going to put a href equals um, home.html. Clean this up a little. And uh, I'm going to write home inside it. So there we have our first, we have our first menu item. And uh, we're going to want to style that. So we're going to start styling the body tag. We're going to give it a margin of 0 pixels, and uh, we're going to give it a background color of dark gray. So I'm going to select somewhere, somewhere down here. And uh, it's a uh, number sign 575757. And uh, then we're going to uh, go down here and make a new style for dot menu item. And uh, that's going to be each one of our little menu items is going to be in that kind of box. So we're going to give it a width of 90 pixels. We're going to give it a color or a text color of kind of a, a white. Text color of white, it's going to be number sign D8, D8, D8. And uh, then we're going to give it a background color of a uh, kind of darker gray. Actually, a pretty dark gray would be good. And uh, now we've got that, we're going to give it a padding top of 30 pixels and a padding dash bottom of 30 pixels too. And uh, there that's, and uh, actually we want to do one more thing, we're going to text align center, and then we're going to go a new style, menu item A, and uh, we're going to give this a style of color equals to some white, really light white color too, and we're going to go text underscore decoration. So basically what that's going to do is it's going to give us a nice box up here. It's going to be a square box. And uh, then the next most important thing we want to do is on the menu item style, we're going to give it a property position. And we're going to make sure it's absolute. So now we have position absolute, meaning we can place it anywhere on the page and it's not affected by other elements. So there, so now we have basically everything we need to get started on our script. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with some global variables. We're going to make a variable. First one will be um, max speed, which will be the speed that it moves at when the mouse isn't over it. And we're going to make that speed 0 0.05. And we're going to have variable min speed. And we're going to make that 0 0.01. Then we're going to have variable speed. And we're going to make that equal to max speed because when we want the document to initialize, we want to have the max speed to start. And then the next thing we're going to need is variable radius. And we're going to make that 200. And uh, next one we're going to need is uh, variable count. We're going to make that equal to zero. So now that we have all those variables up there, we're going to start off with our first function and we're going to call it rotate. And this is going to be our main function that we're going to run in a loop to rotate the, ob the rotate all of the menu items every time interval. So basically in here we're going to get started. We're going to we're going to need the center x of the document. So we're going to get the document dot width and we're going to divide that by 2. That gives us the center x. And then we're going to need center variable center y equals document dot height. We're going to 
divide that by two also. I forgot to put my variable in here, so I'm going to do that. And then uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to start our loop. So in our loop, we're going to we're going to select all the menu items, dot menu item. Then we're going to use an each function, which basically loops through the same function for each of the matched elements. So all of the items it finds with the class menu item, it will do this for. So now what we're going to do is at the very bottom of this, we're going to make count uh, equal to uh, what are we going to make count equal to? We're going to do 360 divided by uh, num items, which is a variable we'll make in one sec, and then we're going to add plus speed. Basically, num items we also need to put up here. It's going to be the number of menu items there are, so it's going to be uh, dot menu, oops, menu item dot length, and that gets you the number of elements in that array. So now that we have that, we're gonna we're gonna do some math in order to make the objects move in a circle. So basically, how we're gonna do this is we're gonna go, we're gonna get the angle. So variable angle is going to be equal to count times in brackets math dot pi divided by 180, which basically translates uh, our count, which is in, in degrees, to radians, because the math functions in JavaScript use radians. So now that we have our angle in radians, we're going to be able to make our position for our for our menu item. So the first position, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go, uh, actually we're going to go variable um, new x equals, and the new x is going to be equal to uh, center x plus uh, math dot cos angle, and then we're going to multiply it by the radius. And then we're going to do the same thing for uh, for the new y, except we're going to use center y plus math dot sine of angle, and then we're going to multiply that by radius too. So now we have those two values, and we actually want to apply them to the elements. So we're going to go this, which is the element that the, the loop is going to be using for this like time that it loops through. We're going to go dot CSS, and we're going to do uh, left. So it's distance from the left, and we're going to set that equal to new x plus pixels, because you're going to need the pixels for it to be formatted right. Then we're going to set top equal to new y plus, oops, plus pixels. So now we have we have that going, and uh, so basically it loops through for each one of the menu items, and uh, it's going to start to rotate. So uh, right now we're not actually going to be there's not the function isn't being run at all, so we need to get it running. So basically when the document is ready, we're going to run this function. We're going to go set interval, and we're going to run rotate rotate function every every 3,000 milliseconds divided by 360. Now, don't ask me about that. That's just a number that came out to work really well. And you, you can tweak all these numbers if you need to, uh, looks like all these variables and these numbers, uh, just to suit your needs. Maybe the, the number of menu items is going to change the speed that they rotate, so you're going to be able to adjust that however you'd like. So now that we have this going, we're going to add some more menu items. We're going to copy this, we're going to go paste, 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 and uh, actually let's do one more, and uh, we're going to start to just rename these just so, just so we can have a variety of different links to click on. So first one's going to be contacts, about, um, this one will be services, and this one will be work. So now we have all five of our links, and we're going to go back to the page, and we're going to, we're going to try this out. So I've noticed something's up right here, it's not it's not looping through right. I'm going to see what I've done wrong in, in my error console, and uh, apparently nothing. So let's go back. Um, angle count. Menu item. That's what I've done wrong. Basically, what I want to do is I want to add. I want to do plus equals 360 nums plus speed. And it should work now. We've got our rotating menu. I just forgot the plus. Because basically, what every time you loop through, you want to add. 360 divided by the number of items, so the portion of 360 degrees, plus our speed. So that's what's going to make it rotate, the plus equals. So now that we have a rotating menu here, um, 
there's some things up that we might want to tweak. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but it looks like it's slightly uh, lower down from the center than it is from the top. So in order to do that, I'm going to I'm gonna subtract something from, from here. I'm, at the end of this, I'm going to go minus this dot width divided by 2. And then for here, I'm going to go minus this dot height divided by 2. And that'll move it all up a bit. It's, it's going to be higher up. It's going to look a lot better. Uh, so now, it's, since it's more centered now, we can actually focus on the next part of the tutorial, which is making it slow down when we mouse over it. Because right now, we don't have any functionality, really. We have working links, but they don't do anything, and it's hard to click on because it doesn't slow down. So we're going to go back. 